an old video of Namibian president resurfaced and you will know why shortly. Watch this clip, we'll come back and discuss. There is in, uh, in Namibia, for example, the number of Chinese people living here in the meantime is four times as much as, for example, the German uh, community. And in so far, it's not precisely the same what takes place all over the world. There are differences. And what I'm... Mr. Speaker, yeah. what is your problem with that? Why does it become your problem? <laughs> it, looks, it looks like it's a more European problem than our problem. Yeah. You are so sorry for us. <laughs> I don't see... Chinese will never come and play around here. As Germans not allowed to do that. Which Germans are doing, by the way. You talk about Chinese. We allow Germans to come offer visas here. Red carpet. Our people that harassed in Germany, even diplomatic passport holders, in Germany. And you come in here, Germans come in here as they want. So why Chinese talk about Germans? How you are treating us there? Chinese don't treat us like that. Diplomatic passport holders. We're coming back from, from Geneva. These people were held up at the airport. Just now, last week, in Germany. We know what we will handle our own country. Don't be sorry for us. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Every time Westerner comes, it's about Chinese. <laughs> what is the problem? Is Namibia everyone not Chinese? Did you tell me that Namibia have Chinese have overtaken Namibia? <laughs> not in my, on my watch. Mm. I told Chinese ambassador, yeah, I met your puppet. It was in place everywhere. In Southeast, respect us. That's all I would say. It shows this respect that we are children, we are going to be uh, cajoled by Chinese or so. No. Chinese are coming in infrastructure they were all over Africa. And I saw in America, they are there. Who bailed Americans out from the financial crisis? Chinese money is there. So why uh, small Namibia, who fought Germans, even Germans were fighting with you? We are tough people. Now Chinese will come and after our sovereignty come and decolonize. As you saw, the German politician tried it and he got humbled real quickly. And, you know, we love to see it. First of all, I want to say this video, I believe, was taken in 2018. And, you know, the Germans still back in, what, how many years ago? 2018 is like four or five years ago, they're still talking about China-Africa relationship. Now they're still talking about China-Africa relationship with the addition of Russia-Africa relationship. They never worry about their own relationship. They never leave us alone and do their own thing. It always has to be like, what is Africa up to? Who is talking to Africa? It's like a jealous ex-girlfriend or boyfriend. It's just so bizarre, their obsession with Africa which is understandable. They want to control the resources. They don't want anybody to come and benefit from that as well. They don't want to lose their power over African countries. There are so many sellout leaders that are in the position of power that actually let them do whatever and they let them steal our resources. So they are very happy and comfortable with where they are. So they don't want anything to come between that comfort zone and them so I, I get it but it's just refreshing to hear Af an African leader telling it as it is and actually being honest to their face it doesn't have to be behind the scenes he was like what do you mean we have allowed you the same way we have allowed Chinese but that's not what's happening in Germany you are treating us badly our people are being treated badly in Germany but you have the audacity to come here and ask me and talk to me about my relationship with the Chinese like we're not children he said it just well said that's what I have to say about this well said and this is what we need from the rest of the leaders stand up to what's right for your people stop being yes sir yes sir like they don't own us we're not children they're not our parents you should always put your people first and you should not be a sellout because these people only come to you for what you can do for them so i think it's about time to start prioritizing what's good for the people of africa anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this i am ungil zalalam i'll see you on the next one bye